So yesterday, I did a video introduction to um, penny roll hunting. And I think it was, I think it was pretty good. I'm, I, uh, that was like one of my, I don't do many videos like that, like, uh, educational, uh, more, I can't think of the word, but videos that are like, uh, <clears throat> staged, staged videos. Um, so it was it was a it was a nice change of pace, and but I've come to realize, you know, over the past several months, that this channel really is here to help. I'm here to help bring people into the hobby, and to see what fifty cents can do. You know, it would almost be a great um, name. Four and it's funny, right? Fifty cents. Right, I have no idea where the rapper got his name from. Um, oh, something about two quarters. I know he he does two quarters, so it's probably nothing to do with pennies. It would have been pretty cool if it was like, oh, all I all I could do is bring a roll of pennies to the for two quarters anyway. But fifty cents or something with those with that title would be such a great um title for a YouTube channel that was trying to bring people into the hobby because that's all you need matter of fact let me get a let me get a i'm gonna write that down i'm gonna call this this is so we're gonna do so i did i showed these three um in the video i showed how all i had was not that all i had but all they had all the bank had was a dollar fifty worth of pennies yesterday and I couldn't believe the variety I got from a dollar fifty that I it inspired me it inspired me to to do that video. And I said in that video, which I'll, I'll do the link to the video at the end of uh, of this video. So this at the if you skip to if you didn't see it, and you want to skip to the end, you'll see the little um playlist or little square you can tap on and it'll take you to the video and then you could come back to this one um and i said that in and not in memory but as a result of that video that i was going to do <clears throat> three and i usually do one video per um Per coin roll, I tried to anyway, except for those ones that are all copper, which I don't know about this one. That is so cool. Looks like a firework almost, right? How beautiful. So today we're going to do this one. Tomorrow we're going to do that one. And or episode, I want to say 258. Yeah, so 258. Matter of fact, let me see. I have a mark around here. I'm a little disorganized today. All right, hey, you know what? I'll do. I'll do with the little with the little pen. Two five eight. Two five nine. Oh, I hate to write on this one. Let's do it. All right, that's it. Sink or swim. And if uh, whatever, no matter what, the whole. So for this is going to be special videos. No matter what, how long they go, I'm doing the whole roll <clears throat> for these. Um, again, and uh, I guess, anyway, special video. So here we go. I think I need to put the, the air conditioner on. It's a little hot in here. And the first three, which obviously now it's the last three, um, we looked at 
in that video. So I'm going to take the last three pennies out. And we're going to start with those. The last three pennies, right, are the top, which I took the top three ones out for the uh, for that last video. So let's see. And I kind of remember them. Uh, two zincs and a copper. Yeah. All you need is 50 cents. What a great something like that for a YouTube channel. I think this is the copper one. Now let me get out my little stick. You can see the bag marks on this. It's always three for some reason. I think sometimes it's four, but usually it's three. Nineteen ninety nine. We're looking for the wide AM. I gotta go a little closer. How about the light? What do you think? Too much? Sometimes the light's a little much. No wide AM. All right. Now we're back. Now we're back at the top. All right. I've seen this before. It has that yellowing around the edges. Huh. Misaligned on the uh, reverse, it looks like. I don't see a rim on the bottom. Or it could be a collar error. $2,018D. All you need is 50 cents. Man, how many YouTube channels there must be with the... Uh... See, the, the light's too much on these pennies. Yeah. I can't see the detail with the, with the light on. Yeah, I went to the bank yesterday. And she said all she had was a dollar fifty. So all right, I'll take it. Sixty nine D. No floating roof. I don't think it's the D that has the floating roof. All right. That into the fine category. Yeah, so this has been an interesting couple months regarding um, research. Eighty four. Let me get the uh, Matt image up. Eighty four. Yeah, double ear. <clears throat> looking for the double ear on the eighty four. I mean, on any one, you're looking for a double ear. All right, hold on. Let me look at that. I see some extra lines in the America. Ah, it's a spike. And the other one was dirt. Um, let me make sure it's a spike. I'm going to... Um, I'll point to it first before I clean it. It looks like there's a spike here. Um, and this over here is dirt. That's dirt. But let's make sure it's a spike. So, I mean, maybe that's dirt too. That's one thing that's nice. My hair is my hair's falling out. All right, what are you going to do? It's probably getting old, right? All right, let's see if the spike is still there. Yeah, it looked like a spike. Right here, right from the edge of the um, the building. All right, got a spike on a eighty-four. 
We got enough. We got some copper out of here. Let me tell you. I think we're, we're almost at like 50 50 copper. Hmm. Look at the top of the A. Doesn't that look weird? I have to look at that. Yeah, let me see. Probably just dirt. I have to check it out. 71D. Yeah, it looks like on top of the America. I have to I'm gonna have to clean right above the um the A in America just to make sure that that's not some sort of error, die error. You see it went away. Ah uh, yeah, it's something else. All right. So I can see 83, we're looking for the uh, flared G. I don't think so. I can almost see it through the phone. Yeah. Even though it does look really, really close to the building, which I thought that was one of the uh, things to look for. Look how close it is to the steps. Are they all like that? Let me pick out another one. Another uh, zinc. Yeah, look how far away the FG is from the steps. I'm going to have to look for another 83. I mean, you can definitely see the difference. Maybe it is the flare G. I don't know. I don't think so. But look how close it is to the steps compared to the other one. I'm going to have to look that up later. I'm going to put that to the side. Uh, hopefully we'll find another 83. Then that will just clear it up. Because I know that the, um, the 83 error is pretty rare. So I doubt that's it. It really doesn't look flared, like, unless it's just like a little tiny, something that's so small um, to look for. Whoa. Not 19. Yeah, right. That would be so. See, it's always these messed up ones like this that look so cool. Oh, 1991. But the one looks like a, has damage on it, made it look like a P. Wow. Really cool looking. Probably got caught in something. See, when a coin is in this type of condition, I mean, it's it's not in 
it's it might be in fine condition but it's it's dirty it's not in you know it's not in better condition where um you can see the details better like I, it probably wouldn't be extra fine <clears throat> um But when it comes to it, you know, to dirty coins, pennies like that, you know, more than likely, whatever ever you you're thinking you see, it's not. I mean, that's been my experience. Nineteen eighty nine D, the last. For those of you who don't know, everybody, all my members know because I they watch my videos. This is the last year that that mint mark is hand punched. I did a special video on it. That was another educational video I did last year. So they take the mint mark and they punch it onto the die with a long rod. And if they make a mistake, they have to repunch it. And that is where they get RPM for repunch mint mark. But this is the last year. 1990D, if there is one, or whatever mint marks that they have on 1990 forward, they're done. It's on the uh, die already. I'll put that down here. I like making notes of that. I haven't found one in a while. Yeah, so like a penny like this, let you know, if there's an error there, <clears throat> if it looks like there's an error there, it's probably from the dirt. Or the damage or the corrosion or something it's unfortunate um but i guess that's part of the learning process is that you really have to um you have to pay your dues man you know let me look at that too yeah the two has a bunch of those notches but again even if this is the error, which, right, due to the condition of the penny, the coin, the cent, it's not really worth anything. I mean, for that error, I'm saying, and that's if, that's if that's the error. If, if that's the error, no one's going to want it. You know, maybe, maybe for yourself, just to, as a, uh, as an educational thing, but I've already looked up quite a few of these, and um, so that again, I put my dues in. Anybody who's been watching my show, my channel, can verify to that. They know that Jess put the time in, man. Just sit down and watch my videos. You know it. Now, is that what I'm recommending other people to do? Nah, and nope. I mean, a good work ethic is healthy, you know, so if you're going to do something, you should try to be the best at it. Ah, there we go. What's that called? Uh, oh, my God. Rim, rim ridge. Rim ridge. Rim ridge. A little bit of it. A little bit. I'm going to use, I have to start. Now, remember this. I took psychology for uh, four years. My undergraduate major was psychology. And, um. When you take psychology as a major, you have to take all of these prerequisites, right? Psych 101, Psych 102, 03, 04, advanced psych, all this, you know, abnormal psych, all kinds of stuff, right? And it's like, there's got to be like 10 to 15 classes you got to take for your, uh, to get your uh, major uh, psychology undergraduate. Anyway, so some of the stuff I remember, and one of them was, because uh, they a lot of the things you do with psychology is, uh, look at that, I got to look at that, Mint Mark, is they do a lot of experiments. And as a result of the experiments, they come up with theories, right? Um, and memory is like one of the big things in psychology.
And they say, I remember from this one class, uh, the, the person said, if you, if you repeat something 20 times, uh, you commit it to memory. And I think he meant 20 times in a row. I don't, I don't think he meant like one time today, then next week, then next year. That probably doesn't count, right? Um, so, for example, Rim Ridge. Is it Rim Ridge? Oh, my God. You see? I screwed it up already. Uh, now, now, if you, now, the same thing. If you say the false thing 20 times, then you're going to commit. You're going to learn the false thing. So, we don't want to learn the false thing. All right. Let me go to my comments. Both um, Eric and Otis two of my long-term members uh, put it into the comments. So let's go to Otis. Ridge ring. Uh, you, know, you heard what I was saying? Rim ridge. Ridge ring. Okay, that's Otis said ridge ring. And let's look at um, Eric. Both of them said ridge ring. Yeah, and I'll show you. I'll prove it. I'll prove it. They said it. Eric, Ridge Ring. Otis. No. Otis, Ridge Ring. So they both said Ridge Ring. So Ridge Ring. And this is part of being on being committed to a specific channel. Um Especially one that's as active as I am. I know a lot of the other channels are active. They do um, they do other stuff um, that is more. I'm gonna have to. Some of it's now. Some channels are more advanced, meaning that you know they're under the microscope. They're looking for specific errors and stuff like that. Other channels are I'm gonna say less advanced, right? So, for example, copper coins is more advanced than this channel is right and other i've seen other websites um use copper coins pictures and stuff like that as uh examples like so i've seen i think it's uh, uh ever ever dot ref some of his pictures are from copper coins i guess he got permission or whatever um he cites copper coins and some so copper coins is a more advanced website um, YouTube channel, whatever. Now, Two Shed Gabby, who I like a lot, he's, in my opinion, less advanced in this channel. Most of what he's done that I have seen is separate copper from zinc. I've seen him look for other dates and stuff like that, but much more simple stuff. Um, so we're way past separating copper from zinc i mean we're looking for errors we're using penny mats where we have a community as i just showed so we're way 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 past separation of dates or wheat from from link man we are we are on our way towards more of a copper coins uh type of um mm, uh i want i guess i'm gonna have to say level you know but that doesn't mean that the channel is going to change. That just means my, my, my personal knowledge base will increase. Um, and we're here we're looking for the, the wide AM. There is no wide AM. And I think that's all we can hope. Uh, yeah, if that, would, that would be so cool, right? Tell me that doesn't look like another nose up here. Look at this. Tell me that doesn't look like a nose. You think it's a you think it's a a miss strike error? I have to look. It looks like a nose. I think I think it could be another face. But there's so much there's damage though. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna wipe it. Just to see if we can get it make it look a little clearer to see what that is up there. I think it's I think it's struck twice. Uh, look, it came off. It came off. <laughs> you see? 
<laughs> oh man, I told you, I was just talking about this at the beginning of the video. The whole thing came unbelievable, man. I was just talking, I told you, see these dirty pennies, man. That's another good name for a YouTube channel, Dirty Pennies. I don't think that's a double strike. Nah, man, it's just dirt. Wow, you see, caught me, man, but it's copper. But look at, I have to say, look at the um, the shine on it. After I, obviously, I, I just rubbed off the dirt. Caught me. All right, you got me. No big deal. Fool me once, you know what I'm saying? I mean, at least once a day I get fooled. Or once every episode. That was, that was funny. So I think now, so I think that the, um, oh, the 92 we're looking for, let me see if I can remember. I think, is it the double ear? No, it's a close AM, right? Yeah. Pretty sure it's the close AM you're looking for on the 92. Now, for those who, who don't know, I guess that, you know, you see, this is the problem when you, when you, when you know too much, right? Or a little knowledge is dangerous, they say. The clo the 1992, you're looking for the, the space between the A and the M to be close, right? Like no space. And in, in this case, the, the space is wide. They're almost touching. Close AMs are just about touching. Uh, and that's a very valuable penny. They're about $100 a piece. Like you can go on eBay now and you can buy one for 100 bucks. Or more, depending on con that's when condition really becomes uh, important, right? Because uh, and you have to know the difference between and if it's cleaned, and you could. I've seen people unclean stuff, right? There's a way to get patina back on uh, pennies and stuff like that. I don't know. So you got to be really careful when it comes to um, conservation. Right, there's a fine line between conservation and damaging your coin. So you have to be really careful. So we did not, we we did not end. Oh, an eighty-two. Yeah, right. That's yeah. I think that's a. Uh, I have to look. That's a that's a small date zinc. Wow. Don't find too many small dates, man. I'm telling you, that's a small date zinc. And it's pretty wild how the, the date is scratched like that. That's probably from a, uh, and it's probably from, uh, now you can see nowhere else it's scratched. Huh. Now it does look like post mint, but it could be um, from a, a theater or something like that. There's a, all kinds of stuff going on on this one on the on the obverse, but it's a uh, small date, and looks maybe it's from a feeder or something. But it's such a small um, designated area. You know that's what that's what's kind of weird about that. That would be a weird, weird, weird. Um, it's pretty cool. That would be an odd. 88. Oh, is that what we look? That's what we, okay. This is what we were looking for before. Remember, we were looking, we were hoping for another 88. We found it. All right, we're looking for, we want to see how close it is. To, I can't, I got to take this off. 
We want to see how close it is to the stairs. Uh, it looks pretty close to me. Let me go to the other one. That's the 83. That was the example we were using. This should be the 88, right? I don't get it. Did I make a mistake? A mistake? Did I did I think the 83 had the flared FG? Ha <laughs> ha. Let me see. Ah, so I think I think that was an I made an error before. Now, everyone who's watching the video recognize the error because it's not the 83 that has the flare G, it's the 88 that has the flare G. So, you see, I make mistakes. That's the 2005. That's the 83. And here's our first 88. It's the 88 that has the flared FG that you're looking for. So the 83 has a different type of error. That I'm not too familiar with. I'm going to say this is not the flared FG. Yeah, it's the 88 that has the flared, not, not the, uh, I don't know why I thought it was, the 83 is a different type of error. But look how light it is, but it's not, not flared. So, I be, so uh, mystery solved, research done in real time right here on the uh, channel. So the funny thing is, people will, will probably put comments in, and unless, and I'll know who didn't stay to the end, right? Because if you if you watch the video to the end, then you heard me correct myself, and you either put laugh out loud afterwards, oh I, I heard you correct yourself, or you deleted the comment, or you edited the comment. So anyone who writes in the comments, it's not the eighty three with the flare G, it's the eighty eight. They didn't watch the video to the end. You see, and um, anyway, just saying. You think that is blue paint? Hmm. I find stuff like this interesting. We did get some copper out of here, though. 81s, huh? Ridge ring. All right, let's do it. Let's do it 20 times. You ready? We're going to... All right, we'll do it at the end of the video. I'm not going to... We're going to do it at the end of the video together. Look at the top of that. That made me think about it, looking at the top. Oh, wow. Era... Oh, look at that. A real deal. At, whoa. Man, we do not find real. It's very rare. <laughs> it's so funny when I say real errors. Oh, wow. We got a real error. Let's see. Does the light make it better or worse? And it's going through the AME. Now, this is not a ridge ring. You can see the line. It's only on the AME, right?
very very cool it has a um it has a line a raised the line is raised ah come on I don't get it. What's that shadow for? I'm trying to get a good. I like to use this maybe for the thumbnail. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Anyway, you can see it. I wish I could have got a nice picture of it. Maybe that'll be it. All right. Cool. Found the uh, honest to goodness error now. If somebody who watched the the uh, video at the end, one that says um, uh, introduction to penny roll hunting, that's something that somebody who just starts, you can see that, right? Right through your own camera or with your, your eyes or with a little loop. Right, at the end, I'm going to try to remember Ridge Ring 20 times. Now, I probably said it already five, but I'm still going to do the 20 times. And what that means is that I shouldn't have to ask anybody anymore. What's that error called? I wish we'd found one. Maybe, we, maybe that one I pointed at before had it a little bit. 88D. Is that the ridge ring? Oh, is that it? For some reason, I felt like it was on the reverse. Maybe that's it. All right, I'll hold on to that. See if we find a better example of these next few pennies. Wow, that's a beauty, huh? Well, nicest penny of the day. Maybe I'll put this one to the side. Nicest penny of the day. Ridge ring. Misaligned die. Ridge ring. I'm going to write it down. I have, I have some working titles going on over here. Ridge ring. 20 times. All right. See how easy the video goes over half an hour? It's like nothing, man. It's like nothing. Ridge ring. That's how you learn, boys and girls. Repetition, man. That's it. That's it. Repetition's where it's at. That's life. Life is about repetition. All right. Let's see who's here. This is the last penny. Oh. It's getting there. It's not, it's not, okay. I think the other one's the best example, right? See the hub? Now, usually it's the reverse, and you'll see it going through like the America. And for some reasons, it's usually here. And you'll see a, a, a ridge ring, ring <laughs> going through the, uh, the United States of America. 
here. Now, I'm not sure if this is a ridge ring or not. Maybe it's the beginning of a ridge ring. Anyway, you ready? I'm going to use my, my fingers to count. We're going to say ridge ring 20 times. Ridge ring. 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 What's it called? A ridge ring. Ridge ring. Ridge ring. Ridge ring. Ridge ring. Okay. Now, I should have committed the error to memory. What's the error called? A ridge ring. And it's basically, uh, now, you know what? I don't want to say basically because I say basically, then I give wrong information. Let's look up the definition of a ridge ring. Ridge ring uh, coin error. A ridge ring, yeah, that's pretty much, and it's funny, they show the, uh, I don't know, they show the In God We Trust, just like we got here. Ah. A ridge ring coin error is a raised ring that can appear on older copper alloy scents, copper alloy. I guess it is copper alloy because there is the zinc in it. There's 5% zinc, so I guess it is a copper alloy. And other denominations, these rings are often found on Italian fractional euro cents. And so let me click on this. There's an image here. Oh, you can't click on it. How about if I uh, save image as and, and then I open it up? How about if I do that? All right. And it's funny that it's showing the 87D and it's going through the uh, In God We Trust. Very simple. So look at this. So, hey, I'm going to put the light on there. All right. So I'm going to show you the penny that they had online. And you can see it. You can see the... Um, the ridge ring going through the In God We Trust. They also show it in the date here. But it's funny that I was like, oh, I think I wasn't sure if that was it. And that's it. This is from the example on online. And here's the one that we got. Very similar. Theirs is a little bit lower than this one. It's going through like more through, but it's, you know, I think it's still a good example. Ridge ring. <laughs> All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, this video, um, I try to make them fun, funny if I can, especially. All right. God bless. And I'll see you in the next vi the next one. Right. It's the next one. All right. God bless. Take care.